It's a good day today. I just took like a three hour nap and I feel absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm a nap kind of guy and I swear by naps. So uh, we're gonna feed the fish here. We're in the freezer. Um, I keep tilapia on hand. Sometimes I'll do cod, but this is what I feed my big cichlids. This is my livelihood. And there's a bait store right down the road from my house, so it's really nice. Sometimes I'll feed them like leeches, earthworms, just anything I can get in, get my hands on. Basically what I do is I take up the tilapia. Uh, this water's still pretty warm. It doesn't take much to unfreeze it, so I'll just drop it in there. Give it about a half hour and cut it up. And literally um, for the smaller fish, I'll just mince up little pe smaller pieces for the smaller fish and big pieces for the big ones. Um, winter's on its way. We are getting the household ready for winter. Uh, us northern states, we gotta represent uh, because winter is crazy intense around here. But anyways, today's video is on rainbow cichlids. Um, there's a couple of you guys that are keeping rainbow cichlids. This is a central slash South American fish. So it's, it's from like Honduras, Costa Rica, and I absolutely love these fish because they're super well-mannered, they stay small, and they're great to keep with like acaras, angelfish, some of the nicer mannered cichlids. So um, let's go down the fish room, take a look. I'll shoot a video. I'm gonna quit blabbing here. All right, so let's go downstairs. You come in, Lace? Lacey, you wanna go downstairs? That is my nine-year-old black lab, if you're wondering. She is an old lady and she rarely listens. She really loves to lay in the fish room, though, so let's see if she'll come. Oh, you're going to come now, huh? All right, Lace, come on. Yep. All right, fish room. One of them is on the right here, so let's go take a look at these rainbow cichlids. And my fish room is in shambles right now because we're moving everything. And look, right here on the left, there already is a rainbow cichlid. And these are central slash South American cichlids, and the reason I love them is because they're so mild mattered, like... I should coin that phrase, mild-mannered cichlids. Like, these guys do great with uh, some of the nicer cichlids. Like, in my experience, acaras, fire mouths, angelfish, kind of like, um, take that with a grain of salt, though, because each of those species, species can have fish that are just tears, complete tears. But they do great with, like, you're just your generic middle-of-the-run mannered cichlids. Let's feed them some of my trusty old freeze-dried brine shrimp. And they never have issues taking food. They can grow to like four or five inches. I never see them get that big though. Let's throw in a couple cubes here. And I'll throw a link to the description box to some of this food because I absolutely love it. And you guys all make fun of me because you're like, oh, oh, he loves this food and it's all he talks about. But guys, the fish is so easy to have shipped to your door from Amazon. And yes, it's not live foods, but freeze dried are the next best thing. So as you can just see, they're terrorizing this food. So, and I have just two rainbows in here. See if I can get the light a little better. These, I mean, these things are so easy to take care of. It's ridiculous. Just give them some food, uh, just a protein rich diet because they're a cichlid and clean water, uh, mild manner tank mates, like I said. But as far as that, super easy to take care of. I love these fish, always have easy, easy, easy fish, guys. Oh, and one more thing, I almost forgot. Breeding this fit, breeding these fish are really easy and I found it to be really rewarding. And uh, I actually had problems kind of selling off these fish because a lot of people actually don't know what rainbow cichlids are. But as far as breeding, uh, it's literally, they're just going to pair off, figure out a pair, buy a bunch of them if you're looking to breed them, let them pair off, they're gonna find a section of the tank they want, they're gonna lay the eggs, you can choose to remove the eggs. Accordingly, uh, uh, what I usually do is just yank out the thing they laid the eggs on, I'll usually lay a plate piece of slate and when they lay the eggs, they will, um, I just yank the piece of slate with the eggs and then I just raise them in a separate tank, it's literally that easy, but they will also raise their own fry it, as long as they don't have other competitors uh, kind of putting aggression on it. So, and if, 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 if there's other tank mates, I commonly find that they will eat their babies. So just beware like most cichlids. All right, guys, like this video. Uh, rainbow fish, cichlids. Whoop, whoop.